Ooh, spooky, spooky. I am Count Dogula. <laughs> and on today's dastardly fact show, which answers your questions, I will chill you with strange smells that will haunt you, the tale of the lizard and his surprise, the chilling sound of that dreadful gong, and there's lots of scary faces. <laughs> Okay, Boof on the Vampire Slayer, how do we rid the world of this terrible beast? <laughs> garlic? I am not scared of your pathetic garlic. <laughs> Try the steak. Oh, the steak, I don't like the sound of it. <laughs> hey, wrong kind of steak, you stupid chicken. <laughs> we need something a lot stronger. Oh, no, stronger, what is it? That's my sock. Oh, no, not the handy, cheesy sock. <laughs> What did she say? She says it does smell pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, we've had a couple of letters here, one from Tom Ashcroft from Cornwall and the other from Kerry Ann Hutchison from Glasgow, and they both want to know how cheese is made. Paul makes it in his house. I do not. Yes, he does. <laughs> anyway, we send Jane Langdon Davis from Devon along to find out how cheese is really made. Hey, over here. Well. I'm at Quick's Farm in Devon to find out how you make cheese. And the main ingredient in cheese is milk. The milk is put into huge vats ready to be made into cheese. Hello, Gary. What's the first thing you have to do to make milk into cheese? To start the process off, we use, wait for it, starter, which is like a yoghurt. We pour it into the milk to make it go lumpy. We then add a substance called rennet that's stirred in to make the milk solid. It takes about an hour for it to set, then it's cut and cooked for another two hours. The curds and whey come down into the cooler. As you can see, it is quite lumpy. What we want to do now is separate the lumpy part, which is the curd, from the liquid part, which is the whey. It reminds me of a nursery rhyme. Do you know the one I mean? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Then came a big spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! Now we're going to turn the curd, which is known as cheddaring. This is the mill. We put the curd into it and it comes out in pieces, a bit like chips, which helps to dry it out. Next, we add the salt, which will bring out the cheese flavor and make the cheese stay fresh for longer. Then we put a layer of cloth into a big mold and press the curds into it. It takes milk from 15 cows to fill one of these molds. They are then ready to go to the cheese press. The cheese molds stay in the press for three days to squeeze out any liquid that is left. There, that looks more like cheese, doesn't it? Yeah. Is this what you make a cheese cloth top out of? That's right, and the cheese will wear that for the next 12 months down in the store. You mean I have to wait a whole year to eat this cheese? Well, Mr Barker, that's how you make cheese. And let's not forget the star of the show. Say cheese. Mm, I can't seem to find out what's next. Oh, oh don't worry, it's a brain of Barker time. <gasps> oh, no! Yes, it's... Bong the Gong. Welcome along to the game show with more glitter than a blue Peter Christmas card. Yes, it's... <laughs> Bong the Gong! And asking the questions today, it's Beaver Road Infant School from Didsbury in Manchester. Oh, Hello! They're not beavers, they're like human beings. Oh. Don't forget, if Mr Barker gets a question wrong, Miss Chicken will bong that gong. Ooh. <laughs> You're looking beautiful today, Mr. Oh. 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 <laughs> feeling confident, Mr B? I'm feeling so confident I might just change my name from Mr Barker to Mr Brainy Bunch, Polly. <laughs> oh, I'd like that. Let's go to mm. Chad for the first yes, question. Chad. Dear Mr Barker, what sport would you be playing if you were using a shuttlecock? Oh, a shuttlecock, not to be confused with a cuttle shock. And uh, uh, badminton! Correct answer. Yeah. Well done, Mr. B. Let's go to Ramsher for the next question. Okay, okay, okay. 
How many singers are there in the group all saying? Oh, singers in all saying. Like cutie number one, cutie number two, cutie number three, cutie number four. There's four, four singers in the all saying. He knows his all saying. Yeah. Well done, Mr. Yeah, B. Yeah, Let's go to run. Emma for the next question. What country is Mount Everest in? Oh, Mount Everest, then it's not near Bob, it's, it's not near Fred, it's Nepal! Oh! <laughs> oh Nepal! Good day, Nepal. Mr B, well done. Let's okay. go to Saki for the next question. What is 12 times 12? Yeah, 12 times 12, and you're 5, 16, 25, 44, minus 2 equals... 144! Two! Well done, Mr B, he's on a roll this afternoon. Let's go to Charlotte for the last question. How many kidneys do we have in our bodies? Oh, you, you human beings, you've got in, uh, two kidneys in your body. Well done, Mr. Yeah. Barkey. You score five out of five, which means Ooh. Beaver Road yeah. Infant School didn't beat the brain of Barker. Yeah. I'm sorry, my little beavers, but their dog is brainier than the beaver. That's it for today's... Song the Gong. Today, a lizard loses long bit. The remarkable tale of a removable tail. Welcome along to W.O.W. -W Weird oh, or What? what? <laughs> Excuse me one moment, oh. viewers. Mr. Barker, what are you doing? You're supposed to be out getting film of a lizard losing its tail. Hmm. Lizards, snakes, spiders, scary creatures. I get to meet them all. That's fine, risking my furry behind everywhere I go. But you, Mr. Handy, get to sit in this warm, comfortable studio. So it's time for some changes, and I'm stopping here if you don't mind. We need the film. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the film. Give it to Miss Chicken. She'll deal with it. And uh, Miss Chick Chick, if you're around, uh, please get me a banana brain tropical surprise drink. All this work's got me thirsty. Miss Chicken, take this, get him a drink, and a large bucket of ice. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, viewers. Where was I? Oh, yes. When the lizard is attacked by a hungry enemy, such as a snake or a roadrunner, it has a strange and scary way of distracting its attacker. Miss C, roll the film. <coughs> this film shows the roadrunner bird trying to grab a tasty lizard snack. But the lizard drops his tail, which keeps on wriggling and confuses the bird, while the lizard runs away and lives to see another day. Then the tail regrows and Mr. Lizard is saved to do his lizardy thing. Yeah, you see, Mr. Handy, I don't have to go out looking for all these strange creatures. I may get bitten one of these days, so I'm on strike. <laughs> And tell me, Mr. Barker, would you like ice with your banana brain tropical surprise? Why, certainly. Oh, come back here, you chicken. Weird or what? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>